What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how I tie my fishing knot and hopefully you learn something. For the hook, I'm going to be using a carabiner to represent it and I'm going to be using this 550 cord or paracord for the line. I'm just using these two things so it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. The first step in tying this knot is taking the tag end of the line and pulling it through the eyelet. So it's like this. The next step is we want to double over the line. So it looks something like this. Then we're gonna wanna make a loop in the line. So it looks like this. Then we're gonna wanna spin this around. Just, uh, we wanna spin the tag end around the two lines. Probably about four times would be good. You can go up to six, but I just think that four is just the right number to do it. And then you're going to want to pull the tag end so the knot looks like this and you pull the actual line and that's going to bring the knot down all the way to the hook and yeah this is a really strong knot and it's good for um all types of fish or all types of lures and i've had this knot i haven't had this knot snap since i started using it it's called a fisherman's knot and uh here's another knot all right, I'm gonna be teaching you guys the kind of knot that I tie. So I'm also gonna be using paracord and a carabiner to make it easier to see. Um, I personally call this knot the loop-de-loop -loop because I've never learned the actual name and it involves a decent amount of loops. So the first step, you're going to put the line through, but then you're gonna go right back through. But what you want to be careful about is if you pull it too much, it's all going to come back out. So you want to make sure that you keep that little loop-de-loop -loop on this side. So always keep a hand on that. And then once you have the loop-de-loop -loop on the right side or left side, and you have the other end with the tag end and the connected end, you're going to make a little loop. So it looks like this. And then you're going to push your line under and through, just like you're tying your shoe. And it should look like this. Now, when you're pulling it through, you don't wanna pull it all the way tight. You just wanna leave it kinda of loose for now because you're going to take the loop-de-loop -loop and go around your lure. You're gonna push your lure through that loop-de-loop. -loop. And then you're gonna hold that little loop-de-loop -loop up here. So you should have this right now with your loop-de-loop -loop up and around the lure. And you're gonna hold your loop-de-loop. -loop. You're gonna hold this with your hand, the base of your hand and just hold this with your extra finger just so it doesn't fall back around the lure. And then you're just going to pull and you're going to pull on it until the knot is tightened. And it, in the end, it should look something like this. And I've never had this knot snap. And again, I call it the loop-de-loop -loop just because nice and loop-de. 